Hey, how are you today? It's good to have you here. I hope you're having a kick-ass day. I know I am. Although it's reasonable to assume that if you're fishing around online for uh, opinions and uh, insights on life and help figuring shit out, it's somewhat reasonable to assume you may not be having the best of days. In fact, you may actually be having a hard month, a hard week, a hard year, a hard longer period of your life, more than just COVID. And in fact, that's something I see quite a bit in the comment sections of my videos. That's what people come to me uh, in life, in my counseling practice. They're coming to me because life has gotten hard. Or as they talk about in the arts, or as we used to talk about in sports when I was an NCAA coach, that you feel out of flow. Your life is not in flow. In fact, you feel stuck. I get people coming to me all the time. I get well-to-do people sending their young adult kids to me in college or out of college or they're 25 years old living at home or whatever. And the parent is distressed because my kid just lacks motivation. He just sits on the couch all day or just locks himself in his room or doesn't engage with the family or he's just constantly smoking and pot, smoking pot or whatever it might be. And the parent sees that as a bad thing and the parent sees something wrong with the child. So they bring the kid to me, the adult kid to me, because the kid lacks motivation in the parents' eyes. There's something wrong with my kid. Fix my kid is the thinking. They may not say it in those exact terms, but that's basically what the fuck they're saying. And I'm generally, of course, reluctant to work with young people, not because I dislike young people. I've been working with them my whole life, love them. But I dislike working with people who are brought to me versus people who come to me. There's a difference. One of the single biggest requirements I have all of all my clients one of the only two or three things I absolutely require is that you have to keep opening. I'm here to press you, I'm here to question you, I'm here to challenge your thinking, help you see your blind spots. Not to judge you, but to help you become who you really are. And if you shut down, if you don't open to me, I can't fucking do anything. And any therapist in the world would basically tell you the same fucking thing. Anyway, so that's kids, but it's also true with adults, that they're stuck feeling unmotivated. And I get it with people at all um, places in this sort of trajectory of a career. People who are just starting out or in the trajectory of a relationship or in the trajectory of life. Whether they're just starting out or in the middle, feeling stuck, really stuck, really down. Or maybe they've reached the very mountaintop. And I have a lot of those clients. Literally at the top of the food chain. Financially, success-wise, fame, you name it. And yet they're stuck. And this is an interesting thing, and I'm not talking about COVID now. COVID uh, creates problems for people. I'm not disputing that. I'm talking about people who had these problems before COVID, and COVID simply ex exacerbated them more often than not. What I'm talking about is people coming to me saying they're stuck, they're out of flow, they lack motivation. They feel like life is sitting its fat ass right on their fucking head, and they can't fucking breathe. I get people coming to me saying, Sven, it's like, it's like everything just bleeds me and bores me and numbs me. I have to conjure up energy just to go into work from my car in the parking lot each day. Or I have to conjure up energy just for this next fucking Zoom call. I have to conjure up energy just to get out of bed or just to go for a walk so I can have some exercise. That everything is this laborious thing. And when it gets really bad is when people start saying things like, it takes more and more energy to do less and less tasks. That is not the result of external circumstances. You think your problem is the people outside of you, the circumstances outside of you. The real problem is always right here. The real answer is always right here. All of these things, being out of flow, feeling stuck, feeling down, crying a lot, being sad, being frustrated, all of these, let's just sort of loop under this notion of feeling depressed. And that is one of the primary things that people come to me for. And what makes it worse isn't the depression itself. The real problem isn't that their life has come to a grinding halt. The real problem, even though they think it is, the real problem isn't lack of motivation. Lack of motivation is like, it's like a sore throat. If you have a sore throat, that's a fucking symptom. That's not the real problem. The real problem is the virus causing the sore throat, right? If you don't solve the virus, you don't, 
<laughs> you're just fucking placating. You're just tamping down the fucking symptoms. Well, it's the same way with that fucking depression. It's the same way with that lack of motivation. If you're trying to find things online to motivate you, I got news for you. You're not. Nobody else can give you motivation if you're at the point where you're having to conjure up energy just to do the smallest of fucking tasks. The problem isn't motivation. The problem is the virus causing the motivation and the virus causing the motivation is that your soul has brought your life to a grinding fucking halt. Despite everything you have achieved in life, despite everything you uh, aspire to achieve in life, your soul has shut your fucking life down. And one of the things I always tell clients is the soul is more powerful than the will. I couldn't give two shits how much willpower you had in life, how much you've accomplished, the great things you've done. I say this right to clients' fucking faces. It's you know it's all re, it's all uh, honorable and respectable, and I and I admire it. But in the end, you've accomplished those on willpower being directed by those voices inside of you, who you're trying to get the approval from, or you're trying to squash or placate or avoid criticism of from. You've accomplished so much in your life by sheer fucking willpower, but willpower eventually gets its fucking ass handed to it by your own soul and depression. And in all those forms, stuck, lack of willpower, can't breathe, ha bored with life, whatever it is, all of those are variants of the fact that your soul has finally risen up and said no. Your soul is saying to the rest of your system, your soul, your spirit, whatever you want to call it. And I'm a spiritual counselor. And I don't mean God shit. I just mean your own fucking spirit, who you really are at your essence that your spirit, your soul has finally risen up and said, no, this is not who we are. We, this entity, all of this, for as successful as it's been, or for as successful as you aspire to be, all that you think you want, this is not us. And until we get fucking authentic, we, this entity, all of the moving parts in here, all of the thoughts and feelings and everything, until we are working together, being authentic to who we are, you will never have happiness, you will never have peace, you will never have the clarity that you seek, and you will certainly never escape that emptiness inside. You will never escape the depression if you are being inauthentic, if you are not listening to your soul. And so the soul creates the depression. The soul is simply stating, this is not who we are. And so your soul will eventually shut your fucking life down. My clients hear me say it a million fucking times. There is no change until the pain gets bad enough. And the truth is, if, you're in, if you are in the pain and you are not actively taking steps to seek the answers from the pain, to seek the answers from the depression, what it is trying to teach you about yourself, if you are not deliberately and actively engaged, in finding out how this depression is actually the greatest gift in your life rather than something to be run from. Unless you are actively engaged in finding the answers, you won't escape it. And you won't have what you want and your pain will get worse. This shit doesn't magically fucking heal itself. Your pain will get worse because your soul is trying to bring this life that you've been living as you've been living it to a grinding stop and furthermore is trying to help you get the crud out from inside of you that is blocking you from being authentic, from being in flow, from having a clean vessel from the soul right up through the chest to the brain, to the mouth and to the actions to the life. So you are living an integrated life that who you are out here is 100% consistent with who you are in here. And the reason you're at a grinding halt right now in your life is because this out here is not consistent with who you are in here. And so the two worlds collide right about here right about there. That's the depression. You can't get past yourself. You got one, as I tell people all the time, you got one foot on the accelerator and you got one foot on the motherfucking brake. That's your problem. And at the root of that problem is this belief that pain should be run from. I want to escape the pain. And it's quite natural, of course. Who wouldn't want to be out of depression? Who wouldn't want to be out of pain? But the point is, this pain is your blessing. This pain was created by your own soul to abort whatever aspects of this life you are living that are not consistent with who you are, that do not give you life and inspire you, that do not bring you peace. If it doesn't inspire you and enthuse you and or bring you relief and a sense of calm, it is not you. Fact.
and no amount of trying to make something you is gonna work, is gonna bring you the happiness, peace, clarity, on fire energy that you so crave. No amount of trying to get motivated and pump myself up, none of that'll work. I guarantee it, it'll work for about this fucking long. And I'll bet you already know that about your life, that you get inspired and you start something, but you can't follow through, that you run out of juice, right? I bet you've encountered that about a hundred fucking times. So these stops and starts, stops and starts, it's because you got all this crud in you blocking you from being who you really are. You ain't being you. And here's the really fucking bad news. As I said, the pain is going to get worse until you actively and deliberately, whether with me in counseling or taking my um, uh, video courses on my website, badasscounseling.com, or if you're engaged with certain writers and some really great uh, self-help work that forces you to go into your shit, such as my last book, There's a Hole in My Love Cup. But if you're just, or maybe a great therapist, right? I'm not a big believer that there are a lot of great therapists out there. There are a lot of them that just let you talk and talk and talk and talk. And if just talking would solve your fucking problems, you wouldn't need a fucking therapist. No, it needs to be much more active, much more challenging, much more going deep in for the answers in life. But the key is to begin to see your depression not as pain to be run from, but as a blessing. Actively asking this, what is this here to teach me about myself and about life? and to begin to go into it, to clear out all the crud so that your own voice, your own rebel soul, your own lion just naturally rises up in life. But right now it's being blocked and that's why you're feeling stuck and down. That's why you're holding on to a relationship that is fucking toxic. That's why you're holding on to a career that you never fucking wanted from the beginning, right? Yo, oh, don't even ask me how many of those fucking people I get. People who started a career that they never fucking wanted from the start, but they did it because they're old man or because their mother, right? So fucking pressured them or even fucking chose it for them. Oh, God damn. If I could count the number of clients I've had like that. Till you have the power and the courage to free yourself from all those fucking voices in your head and all those bullshit beliefs you've been taught about yourself, you'll never be tapped into who you are. And as a result, the depression is a gift because it forces you to stop doing and to start being. It forces you to shut down the bullshit life you've been living and to begin to become authentic. And the reason people don't wanna do that is because being authentic doesn't bring fear of the unknown, it brings the fear of the known. That if you were to begin to be who you really are, you know exactly what your fucking old man would say. You know exactly what your brother would say or your friends would say, your coworkers. You know exactly what society or your mother would say. You know exactly what your husband or your wife would say or your kids. And you so fear that fucking criticism, that doubting, that questioning, that undermining you. You so fucking fear that because it's been so fucking painful and toxic your whole life that it's easier, you believe, just keep that shit inside and I'll just be whoever the fuck I gotta be to get their fucking approval. You're terrified of being your real fucking self. That's your problem. And so my question to you is, when are you gonna begin to see that lack of motivation and feeling stuck? Lack of motivation is not your fucking problem, it's just a fucking symptom. When are you gonna begin to go actively into the depression and into the pain to find the gems of wisdom and the cascading motherfucking waterfalls of insight that is, that they is trying to give you. The answers are not outside of you. The answers are inside of you. The great stuff that's going to move you is full of questions to take you deeper and deeper and deeper. Again, I encourage you to go to my website, take my video courses, pick up my last book. It's like 14 bucks, whatever. Again, if you want to contact me for counseling, but you need to solve this fucking equation of your life. Otherwise, you're going to stay stuck or, you're, or worse, you're going to accomplish plenty on willpower in life and it's never going to fucking make you happy. So what's it going to be? Have a kick-ass day.